Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Marwa and I am a Vietnamese revert Muslim. My dream is to spread Islam to Vietnam. My brothers and sisters around the world, I want to ask you for a favor. But before that, I want to share with you my story. I grew up in Vietnam and I came to the US to study. And alhamdulillah, I found Islam over there. Vietnam is a country with less than 0.07% of Muslims. There's no masjid in my city. People mostly know about Islam through the media. So Vietnamese has a lot of misconception about Islam. So for a long time, I was hiding my religion from my parents. But I decided one day that I would tell my sister that I am a Muslim. And my sister in the beginning was so shocked. She was like, are you serious? Are you those people who wear the headscarf? And I said yes. And then she would start to ask me questions about Islam. Alhamdulillah, she was so understanding to the point that she realized that Islam is a beautiful path. She promised me that she would be there for me and give me the support. And it has been five years since the time that she knew that I am a Muslim. And she truly kept her promise and keep supporting me. There will be days when I go outside and my parents try to call me while I'm wearing hijab so I would tell them that oh I'm outside I couldn't talk to you and then I wait until I get home and then talk to them on video call now my parents not knowing anything at all but my dad has sensed something so one day my dad would say hmm you look like a Muslim there's no evidence that he's seeing I would just woke up and then he said you look like a Muslim how? How does that happen? So my dad, he does send something because I always talk to my parents good thing about my Muslim friends. And he knew that if my friends are from Morocco, Palestine, he would know that those are Muslim countries. Now here's a turning point. Since I become a Muslim, I haven't went back to Vietnam to visit my family because I still cannot face them and find a way to talk to them. And my mom said that, you know what, let me come and visit you instead. So my mom decided to come to the U.S. to see me. The first day she came, I was preparing everything for her. I was pampering her. I gave her a massage. I prepared a lot of gifts and give it to her. And she was so happy and then she was calling everyone to tell them how her own daughter was taking care of her. And because it was so cold outside, everyone was covering. So she did not realize that I was covering more because I am Muslim. But then the second day when I took her around to the city and see my friends, she saw something. All of my friends are Muslims, so she obviously has some doubts already. Now, when my mom was sitting with one of my friends, the TV was on and she saw some Arabic letters on that channel. So she was asking me, what is that language? And then I said, that is Arabic, that is her language, okay? When she got home, she saw my book that is also in Arabic. So she's like, what is that language? I say, that is the book that my friend gave me, but I haven't got a chance to read it. So she had the connection there. When we went to bed, the light is off and she was laying down next to me. She asked me, hey, do you have something that you're hiding from me? I was so quiet. I don't know what to say to her. What should I say? I tried to hold myself and I started to hear my mom crying. The moment when I hear my mom crying, I started to cry as well. So I turned to my mom and I tried to hurt her and she turned away from me. That was one of the most painful moments in my life because my mom was the person that would always hug me, always protect me when I was a child if there's something happened. But for my mom to do that, to turn away from me, I know that it must be a very big thing. So the whole trip that she has, my mom wasn't happy at all because this was a shocking news for her. Now in the end of the trip, I was asking mom, hey, can you keep this secret from my dad? And she agreed. Going back home, my mom was keeping the secret for the whole year. But then during that time, my mom always had the discussion to me about Islam. So one day we were talking about prayer. My mom said that, okay, if you are a Muslim, you're not going to be able to pray to us when we die. You are already far away from us and you couldn't take care of us the way that a daughter is supposed to. And now if we die, you couldn't even worship us. So how do you fulfill your responsibility to us? And I understand that is painful thing for her. And that was the culture that I grew up with. But this is not the right thing. So I told her that, hey, mom, 
our ancestors die and they couldn't help themselves. If they had that power, they wouldn't die. So why would I go to them and ask them for blessing? And then she started to say that, oh, no, no, you don't have to always ask them for blessing. You can just pray to them and show your gratitude to them. I say that if I want to show my gratitude to them, instead of asking the one who doesn't have power, I would ask God to have ourselves and have those who we love instead. So we have the conversation back and forth and my mom was so heated and then she said, okay, I'm done with this. I'm gonna tell your dad. She ended up telling my dad and my dad was upset and in the beginning he was quiet, but then after that he said, hey, you have to choose between me and Islam. And SubhanAllah, within one year, it's just like someone punched you on your left side and now you get another punch on the right side. Of course, I'm not a perfect human being and there'll be time that I am very upset, but I try my best to respond to them with kindness, patience, talking to them about life in general without mentioning Islam at all, trying to help my siblings, give some charity to my extended relatives. So I try to show my Islamic manners to my parents. My parents now is at a point where they started to accept the news. My mom said that I know that I cannot change your mind, so you do you. And then my dad, he doesn't like that idea at all. But at the same time, when I try to reason with him on the text, he doesn't respond to me, but he doesn't say something against it because he knows that's the truth. Now, here's the thing. I'm going back to Vietnam and I'm trying to tell my whole family that I am a Muslim and I need your help with that. Just two days ago, I called my cousin and I say that, hey, I need your help. And then she was like, what is that? And I said that I am a Muslim. She was shocked as well, but then because she has traveled around the world many times and she is more open-minded. So she said that she would give me the support and she's promising me that she's going to convince my mom as well. And right now I have five cousins who said that they are going to support me. And then my sister, inshallah, my parents as well. When I told my parents that I want to go back and see them, my mom said that I would rather you being a Muslim than not seeing you at all. And then my dad said that, don't worry, we are here for you and we welcome you. Inshallah, I have some support from them, but I still have a long way to go because of my mom's friends, maybe the people that I knew when I was in Vietnam, our standard relatives like my uncle, my aunt, they still don't know it at all. And I want to call for your help to spread this video, post something and hashtag me Marwa Nguyen on Instagram and don't forget to send that to me as well so that if someone look into that hashtag, they would see all of your video supporting me. Here are the two things that you can say in your video. The first thing is how Islam has helped you in personal level to be a better person. And secondly, how do you feel being a Muslim? Getting ready to go back home and this is the moment that I have been preparing for a long time. I started with translating videos from Vietnamese to English, making my own Facebook page. I attend Dawah classes to learn how to speak about Islam and how to present Islam for other people to be able to understand me. And this YouTube channel is part of my plan to inshallah later on spreading Islam to Vietnam. Now I feel like I'm getting there inshallah to start to face my challenges. And I know that it's not gonna be an easy thing but inshallah that's the path that I chose for myself and I hope that you would be a part of it by sharing my videos and by making videos or pamphlets about Islam yourself your support means so much to me maybe even more than what you could think of because when I go to the store and if I see a Muslims over there walking around I would feel so happy and wanted to say salam to them because I know that my Muslim brothers and sisters are those who share the same faith with me, who worship the same God with me. And you are truly my brothers and sisters. And I'm sure that there are a lot of reverts who go through the same thing or worse situations than me. And they might want to hear these inspiration words from you guys as well. And your words 
also mean so much to my parents. It's gonna show them that my daughter is not the only one who practiced religion. And I just want to say that I'm so proud and grateful to be a Muslim. Jazakallah khair. I hope to hear from you soon, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.